Hi, my name is Owen Medham and I'm here with the Cisco WebEx TAC team. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the steps needed to deploy Azure AD Sync within Control Hub to sync users from Azure AD to WebEx. As a note, you cannot run Azure AD synchronization at the same time as Cisco Directory Connector. First, make sure that you have the permissions to be able to create this application in Azure AD with the requirements listed below. Next, Navigate to WebEx Control Hub, enter your organization settings, and scroll down to the Directory Synchronization setting. You can select Setup, which opens the Microsoft Sign-In window. At this point, make sure you're an admin with the permissions that are needed for the application, as mentioned previously. Once signed in, you're prompted to grant permissions for WebEx to have access to Azure AD. Once done, the page refreshes automatically and redirects you back to Control Hub. If you have a current deployment or you use the SCIM sync within Azure AD previously, you can migrate the current configurations into Control Hub. If you didn't already have a current configuration or you selected to choose a new app, you're asked if you want to use the Cisco recommended defaults or if you want to customize your deployment. If you select Sync Defaults, it creates mappings for all the attributes as outlined in our documentation and prompts you to complete a dry run. If you select Manually Configure Sync Settings, you are taken to the window shown to set up your settings. The attributes section goes over all of the mappings for your users between Azure AD and WebEx. The users section allows you to select what users to sync or select all users to select every user in your Azure AD. The groups section allows you to customize what groups you want to provision users from if your organization has these configured. As a note, nested groups do not currently sync the users inside them, so make sure these are direct groups of users. Finally, the last section gives you the option to sync the user's avatars from Azure AD to WebEx or to sync the group objects to WebEx, which allows you to set up group-based licensing based on Azure AD groups. Once done with your configurations, click Save, and you're taken to a pop-up that asks you if you want to run a dry run or to enable automatic sync. Cisco always recommends that you do a dry run before you sync users from any source, as the changes here can affect users inside of WebEx. The dry run displays what changes are going to be made to users and what users are going to be added or deleted. If you're happy with the results, you can select Enable Auto Sync, which triggers the first sync to be completed. Per Microsoft documentation, syncs are done every 40 minutes. Once you're back on the directory synchronization settings, you can continue to edit your configuration, edit the name of your instance, provision a user on demand, complete a dry run, or delete the instance. If you do not enable auto sync immediately, you can turn this on here and you are prompted to confirm this action on the pop-up shown. Click allow immediately to begin the sync. To see the previous sync summary or previous dry run that has been completed, you can click the arrow beside your instance name and see the options provided there. This helps if Cisco TAC asks for this information. And that is the overview on how to deploy Azure AD Sync for WebEx. Thank you.